I'm Rebecca Harris and welcome to this edition of Senior Moments. Today we are at Brookdale Assisted Living Facility which is on Weems Road and it's right next door to the beautiful Botanical Gardens. If you have not visited those Botanical Gardens you need to come and check that out. Loretta Rose, my good friend, who also is a host on CTV Beam, told us that they're having a fashion show here today for the residents here with Alzheimer's and Dementia. And it's going to be a lot of fun, so I hope you'll come on inside and join us for this event. Well, today we would like to welcome you to their very first fashion show here. And I'm going to bring on the visionary of this event for today. Pastor Ross, many of you know him, and um, so we're going to let him come on and give a welcome, and then he's going to say a prayer, and then we're going to get started with all these beautiful ladies, and I heard we got two gentlemen. So welcome, Pastor Ross. Thank you so much, Loretta. My name is Pastor Ross. I've been coming here ministering the words to the relatives for the last four years. When I first started coming here, I had no idea that I would be here this long because I felt God would take me somewhere else. But as I kept coming, something happened. I began to develop a love and a passion for these residents and the family members that, that come in here to care for them. And most importantly, the staff here. Brookdale has a wonderful staff. You know, you hear, you hear on TV about mistreatment of, of residents at different various, uh, various other uh, nursing homes, but not here. That's why I'm so proud to put together this event. And I thank so much my niece, Loretta Rose, for helping me with this because I would not have had a clue how to get this started. I'm just going to be honest with you. I would not have had a clue. If you ask me, I had I had found a pink carpet. I was going to bring a pink carpet in here. And, but we was going to do it. One way or another, we was going to do it. But I am so honored to see all the family members and the friends to come out and join with us on this occasion. And the purpose is to let everyone know the life that our seniors can live and that um, they deserve a spotlight shine on them because they paved the way for so many of us. I think you will agree. At this time, we have the beautiful Delaney Parkwood Road. Most part of it, the lady in red, her favorite pastime is sewing, cooking, Gardening. That's what this beautiful lady loved to do. Isn't she lovely? Give her a hand. Woo, look at that. Okay, next we have Miss Louise Davis. Lady in red. Please put your hands to the lovely lady. This lady in blue, her favorite pastime is looking at television, listening to music, and doing arts and crafts. Oh, she's striking a pose. That she's walking. That's red carpet. Yes, honey, show us how to work it. Oh, isn't she lovely? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Mr. Tommy Mayton. He's coming out as King Mayton. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right. He's walking like a king. Yes, he's walking like a king. Beautiful. 
you look amazing. Go on and pose. Go and put a hand on that hip and pose. Yes, honey, honey, she lovely. Clap for Miss Nusa. I'm here today at Brookdale with Jenny Mann, who is the director of this facility, and we just really enjoyed ourselves here at the fashion show. And Loretta Rose introduced me to you, and you are just such a joy to be around. And I would like for you to tell me a little bit about what, what has called you to do this kind of work, because this is a ministry. This isn't just a job, and I'm sure that that's true for you. I can see it all over your face. Absolutely. I will have to say that God placed me here. This is the job I have waited for all of my life. My heart, my soul, my family. I cannot see myself any other place in this world but here with my family. And everyone here ha does have a diagnosis of the Alzheimer's disease. Mm -hmm. And they are the most wonderful people on earth. And this is the sweetest place on earth. Well, I can see that your staff really enjoys being here, too, and you can always tell that when you walk into a facility. I had to search and search for a facility to put my brother in. Unfortunately, he has brain damage. And I, I saw so many horror stories, and to walk into this place is like night and day. So I want to thank you for what you do for the residents here, and I want to give you a hug. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in, for seeing, and for seeing the love in the building. We all appreciate it. Well, can you tell me a little bit about the criteria for a family member bringing someone, for a family bringing their family member here? Um, we are 100% freestanding memory care, which means that everyone here does have a diagnosis mm -hmm. of some type of dementia. So all they have to do is to give me a call if they think that there may be anything going on, I would love to educate, sit down with them, and even if this is not the place for them, I can guarantee that I will help them to get wherever it is that best fits for their family. Well, that's great, that's what I do. And we want to thank you again for your service. Thank you. And um, thank you for inviting us out here today to enjoy this fashion show. Oh. And if you don't mind, I'd like to speak to some more of your staff members. Oh, I would love for you to. I would love to get Tanisha, and um, you can speak with her. Okay, thank All you. Right, you're welcome. Okay, this is a very busy lady right here. This is Tanisha Watkins, and she is the Clare Bridge Coordinator. So, I suppose you're wondering what a Clare Bridge Coordinator is. <laughs> I know I was, but Loretta told me that this lady worked very, very hard on getting this fashion show together. So, Tanisha, tell me a little bit about what you do here at Brookdale. Um, well, at Brook this is Bro Brookdale, Columbus, and... Um, me, I help residents with um, Alzheimer's and dementia, mm -hmm. and we're um, our daily routine is I plan events for them. Like sometimes we'll bowl, um, do arts and crafts to keep them busy during the day. So, do you take them out of the facility ever, or do they do have all of their activities here in the building? I take them out. We do sometimes we do a bus ride. Wow! And. Um, on the bus ride, sometimes we'll stop for ice cream or we'll go um, to a restaurant and um, eat out. That's great. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I think when families are told that a family member 
has Alzheimer's or dementia, they just feel like that's just the end. Right. But uh, this, this show that we're doing, Senior Moments, is about seizing the wonderful senior moments in life. And not every single moment in your life is going to be good, but I can assure you from what we've seen today that you guys are doing everything you can do to help their senior moments be good. Well, thank you so much for your service. And uh, I know you got to get back in there and enjoy the refreshments with your residents. And, and again, thank you for what you do here. Thank you. Yes, Mr. King Sumner, our vet, who has paved the way for so many of us. We appreciate his service in the military, Mr. Sumner. His favorite pastime is playing bingo and fixing things. He still fix things too around here. <laughs> Pastor James Ross and Loretta Rose just thinks the world of you. How do you know Loretta? That's my niece. All right. That's she my is sister's daughter. Wonderful. We love her at CTV Beam. Yes, ma'am. And it, when she was telling me a little bit about your idea to do this fashion show, she said, you just got to come and see it. So we're so happy that we did today. But you said that you had a vision for this. So can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, ma'am. Uh, it was about three years ago. Uh, when I started this ministry, I was with a, another pastor, and he came, and for some reason he lost interest. Mm -hmm. He embraced the people. I embraced the people, but he had a problem with embracing them. Mm -hmm. So I took offense to that. Uh, so I separated myself from that ministry mm -hmm. and got my own ministry and started coming in here. And since I've been coming here, there's been nothing but an outpouring of love both ways, me and the residents. Mm -hmm. And I began to say to myself, it got to be something special we can do for these residents. And then first thing that came in my mind was a fashion show. How lovely would it be to have them to walk down the red carpet, smiling, even though they might have got up this morning with aches in their bones, mm -hmm. but to see a smile on their face coming down that uh, red carpet, right. you wouldn't have never known that they had aches that morning. Mm -hmm. So I said, so I said, I'm going to contact Loretta because I know Loretta had the expertise with this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I mentioned it to her, she said she had done something similar. Right then, God said, well, I'm putting you on the path. Let's go ahead and do it. So all the pieces fell into place. All the pieces fell into place. And so do and you do church service here? 
at yes. Brookdale? I do church service. When service do you here. do the church service? Third, the third, fourth, and fifth Sunday mm -hmm. of every month. Oh, well, that's great. Yes, and I come out here. Uh, we sing songs, we we fellowship, and I minister the word to them, and we just have a good time in the Lord. That's know? awesome. Well, thank you, Pastor Ross. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's very nice to meet you, and the fashion show came off without a hitch, and it was a lot of fun. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Thank you so much, well, and God bless you. I'm going to let you go and enjoy the reception now. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, and God bless y'all. Well, this is Cheryl Wilson, and she is the resident care coordinator. And that sounds like a really big title with a lot of responsibility, but you just look very joyful. So Thank tell me you. a little bit about what you do here. Well, I um, pretty much over the caregivers and the med techs and mm -hmm. just oversee the floor and make sure everything is running right and making sure that our orders and stuff get put in correctly. Mm -hmm. Whatever is needed to be done, I do that. Well, that's great, Cheryl. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. But I was wondering if you could share with us a little bit about why you chose this profession. Well, I've been in it for 20 years, and I just love doing it. I started out 17 taking care of my grandmother, and I just pursued it since. And I love doing it. So my heart is in it, and I continue to do it until I can't do it anymore. Well, it takes very, very special people to be caregivers, and especially someone who has this day in and day out big responsibility that you have yes. to make sure the medications are right and that everything is right for their care. So yes. we want to thank you. Thank you. For what you do here. Thank you. And I'm going to let you get back so you can enjoy the festivities too. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, next is Miss Mary Callaway. met Deborah Van Pelt and she is a, her mother is here Mary Calloway and let me tell you she had the cutest little pink outfit on in the fashion show I'm, I just fell in love with her <laughs> thank you tell me a little bit about her and why you chose to bring her here um, mama is a resident of Columbus she's been here all of her life and um, when we realized that she had Alzheimer's and we got the, the diagnosis we knew that she couldn't stay at home by herself any longer, mm -hmm. and we just wanted her to be cared for. Mm -hmm. We wanted her to be somewhere where she was safe and um, everything was provided for her. And I went to the Alzheimer's Association, mm -hmm. and they gave me a list of communities that I could contact to help. And Brookdale was the very first one on the list. And when I came here and met Jenny Mann, she's mm -hmm. the executive director, right. She was just, she reassured me and told me everything was going to be okay. Mm -hmm. And Mama's been here, June will be four years. And we've never doubted the care that she gets here. Oh, that's awesome. Um, it's just an amazing place, and we know that she's safe. And I knew if she was at home, we were going to lose her. Mm -hmm. And actually, since the time that she's been here, she has improved. Um, we think the structure, mm -hmm. her having scheduled activities and mm -hmm. getting her medicine on time and the nutrition that she gets here has helped her. So um, instead of seeing a decline, mm -hmm. which I know is coming with this awful disease, I know it's coming, but we've seen her improve with mm -hmm. her care. So it's just been an amazing journey for us. Well, that's great. I know that the family support is just so, so important. Yes. And I know it gives you peace of mind to know that your mother's in a safe place. Yes. And that she has friends here and other people that care about her as well. Yes. So thank you for taking time to talk thank to us about you. it. And I'm so happy that you're having such a good experience here. Thank you. And I know that Alzheimer's is, is such a horrible thing, but 
you are enjoying the senior moments with her that you have now, yes. and that just makes us really, really happy. Thank you. So there are some support groups and things like that that you can go to. Are you involved in anything like that? Yes, the Alzheimer's Association, David Marlowe is the mm -hmm. executive director of that, and he keeps me posted on um, workshops that he offers mm -hmm. and support groups that are available. So um, my sister and I participate in those, and it's just, it helps, you know, to have somebody else mm -hmm. to reach out to and um, to know that we're not alone. That's right. It just, it really helps. Well, well again, thank you. Thank you. And I want to thank CTV Beam for being so supportive of what goes on in the community with everybody. Yes. And we love to share positive news, and this is a very, very positive experience for us to have today, enjoying this fashion show here. So I want to encourage you to get out and volunteer in some facilities similar to this, or go and visit people that you feel like may be coming with the symptoms of Alzheimer's and get them some help and refer them to the right people. And if they have any questions, Jenny said she'd be very, very happy to speak to your family members. You can bring the whole family in if you'd like to help, to have help to make decisions. And I know it was a tough decision for you to make, but I believe you made a very good one. Thank you. We do too. It was difficult. Um, just turning your loved one over to somebody that they don't know is mm -hmm. difficult. But knowing in the end that they're going to get mm -hmm. that care that they need, it really helps. All right. Thank you. Well, thank you for joining us today on Senior Moments, and we hope that you will make your Senior Moments enjoyable. Thank you.